Okay. So let's do uh, this one. Um, this one just says predict the products of the following reaction, and it gives you cyclohexanol and um, phosphorus tribromide and ether. Um, so and since it says predict the products, all you really need to do is say what is made. Okay. So uh, if you can do that without thinking about the mechanism, then you're cool. Okay. So I'm going to just write what the product is. Okay, so if you uh, would have gotten that, um, you would have gotten that normally because you must know the mechanism, you know. So um, if you don't know the mechanism, it's going to be very difficult to do this unless you've just memorized a bunch of reagents, you know, and memorize what they do. It's a terrible way to do things, okay. It's, a, it's just not, not a good way to do things, okay. So we're just going to figure out, well, what is the mechanism? Okay, so remember, whenever you're doing mechanism, you're going to find the nucleophile, and you're going to find the electrophile. So we talked pretty extensively about this particular one in class. And we said, well, first off, right, nucleophiles are going to be where the lone pairs are or where the pi bonds are. Okay? So, we look over here and we see lone pairs all over here. Lone pairs, lone pairs, lone pairs. So lone pair there too. Uh, we know none of those lone pairs are nucleophilic because they're on those halogens. But we also know that oxygen, it likes phosphorus. So phosphorus is oxophilic. So that gives us a really big clue as to what's going to happen here. So the first step is going to be attack of the oxygen onto the phosphorus. Okay, and you can think of a complex being formed if you want to, or you can just think, we're going to break out that from, it's probably the easier way for you all to think about it right now. So when that happens, I know we've uh, been over that uh, mechanism before, but if you're having trouble, learn it because this is a good one to remember because it takes off our um, alcohols to alkyl bromides. You can do the same thing except take it to an alkyl chloride if you use thionyl chloride. And of course, there's uh, recordings of those ones too, so check it out. <laughs> 